This is an 18-year-old female with a history of prematurity and prior hypoxic ischemic and so on. The images demonstrate gliosis with volume loss and T2 flare hyperintense signal along the corticospinal and thalmocortical tracts extending through the supratorial white matter. There is subtle volume loss along the central sulcus of Rolando. Malarian degeneration with cystic encephalomalacia is noted within the bi bilateral basal ganglia regions with longitudinal T2 flare hyperintense signal abnormality involving the corticospinal tracts as they descend through the cerebral peduncles. There is T1 hypointense signal at these sites compatible with gliotic change. The imaging findings are compatible with the state of clinical history of hypoxic ischemic injury. Hypoxic ischemic cerebral injury can occur at any age, although etiology is age dependent. In older children, the cause is usually drowning and asphyxiation. In adults, the causes are more commonly the result of cardiac arrest or cerebrovascular disease. Patients typically present following an acute event with history of prolonged resuscitation and intubation. Severe acute ischemic injury primarily affects the gray matter structure, such as the basal ganglia, thalmi, cerebral cortex, cerebellar, hemispheres, and hippocampi. Neurologic injury is caused by hypoxia and interruption of blood flow.